Jungle! Jungle! Jungle Beats, um, Alexander Mann. Alexander Sandalis. I like doing something. We're continuing a series we started uh, quite a while ago called, called Unknown Artist Reactions. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been quite a while since we've done it. We've done four of them so far. We're going to continue to do them to yeah. give light to some dope artists out there. Mm -hmm. This is the fifth one in the series. Uh, a producer by the name of Baro Beats yep. messaged us on Facebook earlier this year. We f we, um, we're, so we're sorry, uh, Bardo. Um, it's been a while since you've messaged us. It's been a long while, man. Thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for being patient. Um, we've had a lot of stuff going on in the meantime, but we're going to finally get to it now. Mm -hmm. uh, he messaged us a bunch of tracks uh, to react to. I'm going to pick three plus the one that you wanted, really wanted us to do as a priority. Um, we lost. This guy's a producer. He produces for he produces set a song a week for an artist named Brig. If any of you know him, pretty small artist it looks like. Uh, so we're going to just be look, listening out for you know what we think of his production and you know opinions on uh, the artist as well he's working with. Exactly. So we start what you got, Bardo. Thanks for hitting us up. Hope yeah. you like what you do. And if any of you like, we get a lot of requests. So if any of you, any, any other artists or producers want us. You want to get a perspective on your music and you want your music to get out to tens of thousands, potentially other eyes. Um, there's an option on Patreon, $10 a month, and we will review your music. If you don't want to take the off chance that we might do it. If you want to guarantee it, it's there. If not, let's go. Mm -hmm. Briggs the Artist, Heads Up is the track produced by Bardo Beats. <laughs> Heads up, um, butter beats. I like the I like the beat. It reminds me of like a Drake sort of energy type of beat. Like I got enemies, got a lot of enemies. Had that sort of like very simple minimalist. Exactly. Had like the dun 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 dun. Driven by the, the drums in the background for the takeaway, bring back in for the hook. Um, I like the first first verse. I thought he did pretty good. I like the I like the the hook, but not the the bridge for the hook. Like, you know, the hookout goes, heads up, heads up. Like, but you know how he has the, the bridge that leads up to that? Okay. I thought it was, like, pretty mediocre. Yep. I thought the second verse was so lackluster compared to the first verse. I thought the verse verse had, like, a lot more to it. The second verse just seemed like he was just looking for things to fill into the track. Okay. But the beat was cool. The beat's a banging beat. Very simple. Um... But I think but that's kind of, like, what's, what's hot these days, man. I would have liked a little switch up. would have liked something a little more... Um, you know, creative. Uh, we've heard many variations of that over the years, over the decade, um, mm. and many variations of some of the biggest artists around. Um, just, a, just a. You you cooking food? I ain't cooking. I'm heating. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing too special. I like the beat. It's a cool beat. You know. Yeah, any hot rapper could sound good on that. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a versatile beat. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Let's do that next one up. Uh, the next one is Beauty in the Struggle. This is again by Brig, uh, featuring Joy, uh, Joe Grayston, produced by, once again, Bardo Beats. Bardo Beats. Released five months ago. Let's get it.
Yeah, that production's fucking nice on there. Yep. I'm re- I'm really fucking with that song. I hated the hook. You didn't like you didn't like Joe Grayston? Had a good voice. Didn't suit the song, in my opinion. You don't think so? Why? I just felt like the the way that Briggs sort of rapped it had sort of like I don't know. I just felt like it sounded a bit more darker and sort of like different. I don't know. I feel like whenever the hook came in, it just sort of took away from like what was sort of being said. It was like two different right. things to me. Okay. Don't get me wrong. That that man can fucking sing. I just just the way that he was over that sort of beat with him. It just, I just don't think it fit in. Well, putting the Joe aside, which I did enjoy, that's the Hustlers anthem right there. That that's the perfect song. I was listening to the song. Mm. The lyrics are really resonated with that. That's pretty much what we're trying to. That junk. That should be the Jungle Beat anthem. I like, like the way that he came in for each verse. He started off the same way. Like he did what I did. Like whatever he did to start. Like. <laughs> I fucking terrible lyrics, but like that's okay. He yeah, his rapping was dope on that. But the beats, Bart is what shines on here, in my opinion. That beat's fucking dope. It suited very well with Briggs. Um, really good beat. Better than the other song, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I think it's better. Really like what um, Briggs is trying to get across. Uh, really love the messages throughout that song. That was a good song. A bit more versatility in that production that time too. If we want to talk about Bardo beats right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hella dope production. One more. We have, uh, this is the one that uh, Bardo said. This is the priority. Uh, released this four months ago. If you're going to get one, get this one. So this one is, oh, we've got the, again, featuring Joe Grayston. For real, it's called. Let's see if I like this one. It's like I'm starting to run out of time. I started out and wanted to make history. But now I'm starting to feel like I'm out of my mind. And I just spent the last 10 years at it. Writing bars every day instead of out hanging. The people who chose to give up on their passions too deep now, so it's all or nothing. Come on. the crescendo of the song much better. Yeah, it suits it so much better. I've been fighting with society's pressure of being what they want you to be. But lately I've been striving for better. I couldn't settle, so that's why I'm out here following dreams. That ain't nothing that... God damn. So before the track we heard before, I thought Joe Grayson didn't fit in it at all, mm-hmm. and that the highlight was Bardo Beats. Whereas this track, the highlight is Joe Grayson. He feels like it's overshadowing Briggs. It's oh, like, yeah. oh, I honestly, Briggs was there. I got bored with the second Brig verse <laughs> because after hearing the hook from Joe, I was like, I don't give a fuck about Brig at the moment. Give me some more of that fucking Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's that's a fucking. Give amazing. me some more of that fucking Joe. That was an amazing hook. No disrespect, but like, no, yeah, like. Well, it was the same thing with that. Like, I thought Briggs started off pretty good, but then the second verse, I just got sort of bored with his flow. Because, like, he was delivering some pretty heartfelt stuff, but just the way he delivered it just didn't feel like he was... Respect, okay. I just wasn't feeling the delivery very much. Well, if you, okay, if you don't feel the delivery, I love the hunger of Briggs. I can feel the hunger. The hunger's there, Excuse for sure. Me. This man's hungry, he wants to win in music, he's questioning oh, yeah. his direction. I like, yeah. I like the line where he says he's been there 10 years, and that, like... What he's learned from that is um, being patient. It was like a line about that. And I was like, it's, it's just showing that through the struggle and everything, like about how like while his friends were all out going out there, he was staying at home writing. I don't know how many followers he has on his other social media, but he's got over a, a bit over 500 on SoundCloud. If he's really been doing it 10 years, hold on. How many tracks does man have? Got a lot of tracks, man. Should have a lot more fans for sure. You're only going to have fans if you, the fans think you're good, mm. but he's only been doing it a year on SoundCloud. Maybe he's just been writing for nine years then. Um, Brig from the Bay Area. I forgot my point. Mm. Sorry, man, I made you forget. He did give me some, some of the way that he delivered bars gave me some Freddie Gibbs vibes. Okay. 
just some of the ways that he delivered things. And it seemed like every track that like every track we listened to progressively got better. Like, oh, I like this one better. That third track, that's my favorite right there. Um, I thought we picked three good tracks too because it showcased three different types of beats that you can do. Three different types so of sounds. versatility for Bardo. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, I really like what he did. Bardo did on that last track. Um, really, the production suited uh, Joe very well. Oh, it um, suited him amazingly. Almost, uh, again, that kind of Drake inspiration or that kind of uh, what's Noah? No, what's who's Drake's producer? Noah Shabab. Noah Shabab. I felt yeah, forty. Um, I felt like you know George drew some inspiration from forty right there. Mm. Yeah, cool. I feel that as well. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah. happy with that. Thank you for uh, submitting that. Um, Barter, appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like this stuff, check out their check out their SoundCloud. Yeah, we'll link it all up yeah. below. Barter Beats, Brig, of course, Joe. Like they're they're all dope. They man. seem like a good team. You know, they seem like they work together well. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you want to get your track reviewed or your album review, oh, just actually your track or tracks reviewed. Um, there's a ten dollar option on Patreon if you want it. If you want a guarantee, we'll review your music. Mm. Otherwise, we're gonna slowly, maybe once a month, get to a an unknown artist. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you very much, y'all.